Alright, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Hello Yahweh, Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, Ba Shim Kakwadash, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to your brothers that's pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. Okay, so this is another video expired and inspired um, from a particular scripture I was reading in 2nd Ezra. Um, I'm going to get it right now. This is our second Ezra, the first chapter and the 10th verse. It says, Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. Now, this is the Lord basically uh, telling uh, the, the prophet Ezra the, the things that the Lord did for the children of Israel and how Israel had forsaken him. But when the Lord was speaking, he, he made mention of what he did to the children of Israel and how he smote the kings. For, for the sake of Israel Okay I'm going to read it again It says Many kings have I destroyed For their sakes Pharaoh with his servants And all his power Have I smitten down So like the scriptures say The things that are written for Are written for our learning That we have hope That we have faith That's why we put faith In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Like when I do these videos Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah You know I, I, uh, I understand where Apostle Gabar said You know he does this for, for younger brothers you know, he does a lot of videos to build up younger brothers because, look, our job is to build the faith of the saints for the time that we're coming into. Now, we have a power in heaven, and his name is Yahweh. He is, he is, and his son is the deliverer, which his name is Yahweh Shah. But we have a power in heaven that is going to do magnificent things for the sake of his people, for the sake of his uh, uh, lineage, for the sake of his chosen. All right, so... A, a part of that is him destroying the kings of the earth okay so pharaoh was an example okay of what the lord did and i'm going and and like i said it's inspired off of this video that i'm doing is inspired off of this precept that i read okay verse 11 it says all the nations have i destroyed before them and in the east i have scattered the people of two provinces even of tyrus and sidon and have slain all their enemies all right so the lord have slain enemies for the children of Israel How much more so in this time The Lord For the sake of Israel For the sake of uh, the mercy For the sake of his covenant He's getting ready to take down These kings of the earth And these kings of the earth They know They're top elites They know man And they're in fear That's why they're pushing forth This new world order This microchip Which is the mark of the beast Because you have other Israelite camps that, that are teaching otherwise Okay And basically you're not Setting Israel up Okay for what's about to come See the thing about these other prophets out there or they self-proclaim or, you know, these other Israelite groups, you know, that don't prophesy in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which the spirit of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. It, it, it comes to my, I mean, just basically observing these these uh, uh, men, it seems as though they don't think that this society is going to collapse anytime soon. But you see everything that's going on. Okay, uh, in mainstream media, okay, even in the world within Israel, the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. So all of these other Israelite groups that think, yo, we're going to have unity camps and summits and we're going to get together and have cookouts and all of this stuff. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shah is going to basically uh, overthrow your parade, man. Okay, because you're going, you're, you're going to be thinking with one mindset and the Lord is going to totally come, you know, with, with a shock. Okay, because when this thing comes, it's going to come with shock and awe. Okay, just like it came, just like the shock and awe came to these other nations. Okay, when the counsel of the Lord went out. So the next scripture I'm going to bring out, I'm here in, uh, this is the book Sirach 11 and 4. It says, boast not of thy clothing and raiment and exalt not thyself in the day of honor. For the works of the Lord are wonderful and his works among men are hidden. Okay, see the Lord's works are wonderful. And his works among men are hidden. But th the works that are hidden, they eventually come to light. Okay? It says, Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of have worn the crown. Okay? And that's what's coming. You have the kings of the earth. You have the king of Babylon. You have the king of the, the kings of the east. All right? So-called Chinese. All right? Uh, 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 the Koreans. Uh, uh. Kim Jong Un, okay, uh, Abe, I don't know his first name, Shinzo Abe, which is uh, one of the kings of Japan, he's the prime minister, 
Okay, you have the uh the king of the Moabites over there. I forgot it. I forgot his name. You know, I can't think of these guys' names now. You got uh, uh Rasan Rahani. These are the king. These are the modern day kings. And the scriptures say many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of have worn the crown, and that's going to come in the kingdom because. These nations look at the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a people, all right, that, you know, that, that are not going to wear the crown and they're not going to be in a position of power. But it says one that was never thought of have worn the crown. Many mighty men have been greatly disgraced and honorable delivered into other men's hands. Okay, and that's what's coming. All right. This is uh, Joshua 8 and 1. It says, Joshua 8 and 1 it says And the Lord said unto Joshua Fear not neither be thou dismayed Take all the people of war with thee And arise Go up to Ai See I have given into thy hand The king of Ai And his people And his city And his land And thou shalt do to Ai And her king As thou didst unto Jericho And her king Only the spoil thereof And the cattle thereof Shall ye take for a prey unto yourselves Lay thee in ambush for the city behind it Alright so the Lord gave the command of Joshua As he gave the command of Joshua To take down the walls of Jericho And destroy the kings out of that city To destroy the king out of Ai Okay So the Lord set up the children of Israel Alright And that's just, that's just one of the many examples Going back to the Lord destroying Okay, many kings have he destroyed for the sake of Israel. All right, the king of Ai, the king of Jericho. Okay, when when you read the book of Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, this is the first verse. It says, "When the Lord thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Havites and the Jebusites." Seven nations greater and mightier than thou And these nations, these seven nations They had their kings and their kings were put to death Okay It says and when the Lord thy power Shall deliver them before thee Thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them Thou shalt make no covenant with them Nor show mercy unto them So these nations that were, were, that were destroyed before the Lord They received no mercy uh, How much more so the king of uh, Babylon Okay This is uh, Romans 13 and 1 It says uh, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers For there is no power but of Yahweh The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh So the powers that are in current positions now They are ordained of the Heavenly Father And therefore we're subject to them Okay It says Whosoever therefore resisteth the power Resisteth the ordinance of Yahweh And they that resist shall receive that Received to themselves dam damnation And that's why we have to wait upon the Lord Okay We have to do these works And wait upon the Lord Alright That's why it says uh, For rulers are not a terror to good works So these good works that we do You know They, they really can't be condemned Okay The truth When we go out there and speak on the highways and hedges With the Bible With the words of the Lord These works can't be condemned It said But to the evil Will thou not be afraid of the power Do that which is good And thou shalt have praise of the same But guess what The people that do wickedly The people that do want to come up against the government carnally Alright They're the ones that's going to uh, uh, suffer man But 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 the men of the Lord That use the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We can't be condemned Alright And and it's the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That fight it for us Okay, and you got to keep in mind that the sword, okay, is Esau, all right, the most high have set him up to be the sword upon earth, that's why he has the power of the sword, which is the power, the modern day sword is these bombs that he has, okay, these uh, military uh, uh, weapons of death, that's the modern day sword, Job 19 and 29, it says, be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment, so, the so-called white man is in a position, okay, Esau, Edom is in a position to be used as the sword. So if we work it within the framework of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, which is teaching his word being spiritual, we don't have to fear the sword because it is the Lord that fighteth for us. And our power 
have destroyed many kings for, for our sakes. Okay. Now we're coming into a time where the Lord is reconciling us. He's bringing us back. Okay. Do Yahweh Shah to his good graces. So once we're in the good graces of Yahweh, Okay. Can nothing stop us. Alright. And it starts with faith. It starts with the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright. In order to see and be able to testify. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Is the one that have destroyed many kings. Okay, and it's going to be shown, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be shown. All right, the next scripture is um. This is a uh, Psalm 108, and I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start at verse four. It says, "Uh, for thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O Yahweh, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that thy that thy beloved may be delivered." Save with thy right hand And answer me Okay Yeah because When when all hell break loose We want to be saved man We want to be delivered man Alright We we don't want to be in trouble We know that we're going to have to go through Go through the adversity with the, Which we know that this adversity coming Is the most high proving us He's proving our faith He's going to test our words man Alright And it's going to come down to Do you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah According to faith According to what he have have spoken unto us by his servants the prophets and we as prophets we have the spirit of prophecy we have these words man which were given as a heritage all right so you know hey everything the, the lord have set this all up man to happen man it says uh it says that thy beloved may be delivered save with thy right hand and answer me Yahweh has spoken in his holiness i will rejoice i will divide shechem and met out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Over Philistia will I triumph. Okay, so going back to uh, 2 Ezra 1 and 10, it says, Many kings have I destroyed for their sake. Okay, and Moab being the Lord's wash pot, and over Edom. Would the Lord cast out his shoe Okay Hey hey the scriptures say The scriptures say the earth is the Lord's footstool Okay And who 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 is in, Who is being the head of the footstool Of the Lord right now Alright Esau Edom Okay It says over Philistia Will I triumph Who will bring me into, into the strong city Who will lead me into Edom Will not thou, O Yahweh, who have cast us off, and will not thou, O Yahweh, go forth with our hosts? So the Lord have always fought for Israel. The Lord always have taken the charge to go to war before Israel and show his magnificent power. All right. Verse 12, it says, give us help from trouble for vain is the help of man. All right. That's why we don't take... um. You know we're not we're we're not gonna we're not gonna take uh, matters into our own hands, okay? And we're not gonna follow men that teach us to take uh, uh, to take um, action within our own hand. We're gonna wait upon the Lord. We're gonna do what we're doing, prophesying, edifying, building brothers up with the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Verse thirteen it says, "Do Yahweh we shall do valiantly, for He it is that shall tread down our enemies." So it's the Lord that's going to tread down our enemies. And it's the Lord just like he did Pharaoh. He's going to do to the modern Pharaoh. Okay. The next scripture is our wisdom of Solomon. 6 and 3. It says for power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Because being ministers of his kingdom. Now this is talking about the kings of the earth. Okay. When you're ministers of his kingdom. Okay. Meaning you're a servant. Because the word minister means to serve You know Everybody in a position Who has ever been in a position of rulership Has been set up to serve the Lord In one way or another In what compa capacity The Lord hath him Alright set up Okay to rule It says ye have not judged the right Nor kept the law Nor walked after the counsel of Yahweh Horribly and speedily shall he come upon thee um, Upon you for sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. And part of that judgment 
is the Lord destroying them for the sake of Israel. Alright. I'm a, um for time's sake, I'm a I'm a, uh this is our Psalm uh one oh two it said one oh two and fifteen it says so the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory when the Lord shall build up Zion he shall appear in his glory he will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer okay so the king the king the heathen they're going to fear the name of the Lord all the kings of the earth they're going to fear the glory of the Lord now I looked up this word destitute okay in the Hebrew uh, cuz we we are the test destitute we're going to hey and and when uh when uh the 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 uh, mic microchip you know gets implemented which is this new monetary system because you have uh you can see that the dollar is, is on its way out um by by the talks of the recession that's coming okay and what the uh, federal reserve is doing okay they they expecting the collapse and um of the federal reserve system and what's going to happen is you see how Esau governs he governs through crises and order at chaos chaos or that I mean that's their model that they use order out of chaos so the chaos is the the uh, collapse of the federal reserve note the American dollar and all of these other uh, global currencies that are tied to the dollar okay so when that takes place okay and they impl implement the microchip okay a cashless society which over there in Sweden I like to say all the time that's a test experiment for a cashless society you go to a bank you, you don't get cash okay cash is uh, cash is scarce over there in Sweden but uh, they're gonna bring forth a cashless society over here when that comes as commanded of the Lord we can't take that microchip okay and it's gonna feel like uh, we're destitute. So I looked up into the word destitute, which is uh, Strong's H six one nine nine, and that word is ira ira r. You got an i ra i ra. Okay, ira ira, I believe. Now it says stripped destitute. Okay. See, we can't we can't participate, okay, in in the system once the system um collapses because if we try to save our life by taking a microchip, we get put to death when America is destroyed, okay, and it's gonna seem like the people that's taking the microchip they're winning and things are gonna be coming back to uh you know uh normalcy so to speak because everything's gonna be out of disorder for the people that take the microchip. Okay, or well, you might be able to go into a, a safe zone, and you know, it fl it's a it's a flourishing zone. You can eat, so on and so forth. But uh, it's gonna come a time where we're gonna be destitute. Okay, now the word destitute means uh, it says abandoned, forsaken, from Latin destitutus, abandoned. Uh, literally, a person's forlorn, hopeless. It says a sense of lacking resources without means, impoverished, indignant. All right, that's why the Lord said, I, my, "Behold, my servants shall eat," because there's going to be poverty out here. People are going to be impoverished. It says, "In se severely impoverished person." Going back to this word right here, it says, "He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer." Okay, so. The Lord is going to hear us more in that day when we need to call upon him. All right. It says this shall be written for the generation to come and the people which shall be created shall praise the Lord. And we're those people, man. All right. We're those people. And, and this is a good chapter to read. Psalm 102. I'm not going to read it all. Um, I just wanted to bring out some Hebrew in this uh, video. Now I'm going to read this last precept. This is uh, Psalm 76. And I'm going to start at 3. It says, There break he the arrows of the bow and the shield and the sword and the battle, Salah. Thou art more gr glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep. And none of the men of might have found their hands. At thy rebuke, O power of Jacob, and that's Yahweh, 
Both the chariot and the horse are cast into a deep sleep. Thou even thou art to be feared. And who may stand in thy sight when once thou art angry? So the kings of the earth and all their um ammunition and you know mainly Esau Edom and, and these other armies, the Lord have already declared that he's gonna destroy their armies. Alright, and, and it's being it's gonna be played out right now. Right now, these these devils are at the uh, United Nations, all of these nations are at the United Nations up there in New York. Okay, and, and they have their own plans, but the Heavenly Father's plans are going to trump man's plans. Okay, and for the sake of Israel, all right, for the sake of Israel, he's going to, uh, uh, he's going to, hey, basically, he's going to, he's going to cast out more kings just like he did. All right, and that's Yahweh, the Most High, okay, the uh, omnipotent power, okay, the supreme power in the heavens, okay. Let me jump down to um, verse 12. It says, he shall cut off the spirit of princes. He shall. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. Okay. And the Lord showed himself to be terrible to the kings of the earth. Ask the king. If we could raise up uh, Pharaoh king of Egypt. Okay. We could raise up the kings of the Philistines. Okay. That, uh, that about 3,000 years ago. If, if we could uh, uh, raise them up and ask them. They would tell you that the Lord Yahweh is terrible. You know. I'm thinking of. Um. When uh, King Saul went to uh, the, uh, the 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 witch, basically, and um, had him uh, bring bring up Samuel, and Samuel spoke to him. If we, if we could do that, <laughs> if that was done, I would say, because you know we're not supposed not to go to witch. The scriptures say, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." But if something like that was to happen, okay, they would tell you that Yahweh is terrible, and they would tell the so-called white man. If what the Lord did to us He's going to do Worse to you Okay Alright But with that I want to give all praises To Yahweh By Hashem Yahweh Shah By Hashem I want to give double honors To the elders and apostles Of Great Millstone And salutations to you brothers That are pushing the word In truth and sincerity Until the next episode Shalom